Hey Dan. Hi Rob, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. good, good, no, good it's good, good to see you again. It's, it's the good last to time see I saw you. Just as I haven't five seen ago. you in yeah, five whole minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I have a question. Okay. What made you want to do a musical? It was always something I think I wanted to do eventually. Yeah. I didn't ever probably think I'd be doing it this yeah. early. And I certainly didn't think I'd be, I'd be dancing. I remember very specifically, you told me, just to let you know, I'm not a dancer. Yeah. You told me that. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And knowing your work and watching you and knowing you and seeing you, I was like, I find that hard to believe. I am certainly an advert for anybody who ever says, I cannot dance because that's my give it a go. Give it a go. Thing. And you know, if you yeah. work hard enough, if you, you get hard that. Enough. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. And you have worked so hard. And, and it's thrilling. It's thrilling to see how excited you are about yeah, it, too. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled. To, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to possibly surprise people. But especially <laughs> more, not so much the general public, more my, my you know, close personal friends. Sure, of course. They were going, your mates. you can't dance. Yeah. I know you yeah, can't yeah. dance. It was yeah. like, ha ha, wait, I'm going to show you now. Well, that's what's so <laughs> fun for me to try to like make up dances for Finch. Yeah. You know, they actually move the story along and actually, you know, uh, give some more uh, colors to the character. When you see a musical and you mm. see one of those big show-stopping numbers, it's so huge and complex that I can't you can't picture it existing in anything other than yeah. the complete form that it I is. See. How you build that and up. How exactly. do you enter that? It's too complete. And yeah. so, and so, just the little bit I saw of promises of you constructing the numbers there, but also then, you know, just in these first few days here, particularly with Company Way, mm -hmm. kind of having glimpses of you guys working mm -hmm. out the logistics right. of how everything's going right. to work has been, yes, an eye opener. Yeah. It's been fantastic. What ways do you think Dan and Finch are similar? And I'd say, you know, the ambition yeah. is there mm -hmm. in, in both of yeah. us. I, it doesn't manifest itself in exactly the same sort of deeply Machiavellian way that it does in Finch in me. But, yeah. um, but you know, I think we both, you know, are, are ambitious characters. I mean, Finch certainly is, and I think, I, you know, I have ambition. Guys who look after they leap be yeah. before they leave. So <laughs> yeah. front-footed, so, yes. so front-footed and yeah. so forward that you're, and you're on your way and figuring it out as you arrive, Absolutely. as opposed to figuring it all out before you yeah, arrive. Yeah, definitely. I think life's much more exciting that way if you dive in and then make sense of it afterwards. It is. And, and the show, too. The show's much more, if, if Finch is, so, is much more forward and pulls us through it, it's, yeah. it's so much better. You pick up this book that tells you how to succeed and you follow it. Yeah. Yeah. And you just go it's forward. That simple. You know, it doesn't feel like someone who's trying to skip steps. No. It's not someone yeah. who's trying to make a shortcut. It's just no. someone who's trying to do all the steps. One of the ironies of this is, you know, the show is called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and actually mm -hmm. Finch sort of ends up having to work really, really hard, <laughs> whether it's just to keep up with his own half-truths, like yes, he does yes, in Grand sure. Old Ivy, or Absolutely. whatever it is, he ends up having to yeah, really put Absolutely. a great deal of effort into yeah, not trying. Yeah, yeah. What do you think is going to be the most challenging about the part? Most of what he does is, you know, can't be graded very highly on any kind of moral scale, mm -hmm. but the audience are with him the whole way, mm -hmm. hopefully, we hope. Yeah. Um, and so I think, you know, making him likeable uh, while he does all these sort of quite unpleasant things, you know, he is a frightened young kid at certain moments in this, particularly, mm -hmm. you know, around I believe in you there's mm -hmm. there's there's no reason to sing I believe in you unless he is losing belief in himself That's exactly right um, he's backing himself up yeah exactly himself. and so you know there I suppose I think the moments where you show vulnerability are are going to be some of the most important mm -hmm. moments because mm -hmm. they are what ultimately get the audience on side mm -hmm. and make him seem like a human being rather than just mm -hmm. a caricature. Mm -hmm. There's no chapter in the book on that. No, on how to deal yeah. with that. How to deal with that, yeah.